morning everyone, 10.30, they said I was going to come on around 11, most of you know who I am, Chaplain Joe, Rodders for Christ, we share the hope and love of the gospel to those in the automotive world, the racetracks, car shows, um, get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and drive for hours to these events because it's the people. It's not just the cars, it's the people. I heard from a pastor a little while ago that the cars are the stars and the people are the purpose. Amazing cars, but these weren't always amazing cars. Some of these cars were in disarray and broken a lot like us people are. So that's why I do what I do. That's why I go to these shows. And I go more for the people than anything. So I am going to Um, it's a consignment warehouse, probably 600 cars inside. It was an old abandoned mall and the gentleman came along and purchased it and, uh, filled it with cars. Pretty cool. But, uh, click, like, share, follow. Let me turn back around here. I think I'll start on this last row. You guys can get a C feel for some of these amazing cars. Make sure you let your friends know that I'm live. Don't forget to click like, share, follow. For those of you who can't get out today to go to a car show, came to the right spot. I'm going to try to do the outside and then I'm going to try to go to the inside. Another one of our traplins is here, so he's covering the table for me. Like I said, we're looking for volunteers. Any of you folks want to get involved in these types of car events, just let me know, and I'll get you all signed up. We do everything for the National Hot Rod Association as well. so, And we also follow the street hot laws around. They like to have us at their events as well. So anyone interested, any people of faith that want to become chaplains, training's done online and fairly simple. And, hey, look at it this way. Look at it this way. This is a very hurt and broken world in which we live. So... We need each other. Look at that. That's a Lexus. That's wild looking, huh? Never seen one like that. But click like, share, and follow. Enjoy the cars, everyone. Enjoy the cars. Definitely invite your friends. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to do a pan around if you look. I said there's a couple hundred cars out here right now, and they're still coming in, so... It's only 10.30. still early. Take a look. If you anybody in the market for a car. You know, I go to Gateway all the time down in Jersey. But you see, this is their trailer. This is their setup. This is where we're at. We're at the Classic Auto Mall in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Over 800 cars on display. Eight acres. They have car shows here almost every weekend, twice a weekend. The information... What in Christmas trees is this? As found. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go back down this road now. Click like, share, follow, kids. Click, like, share, follow. My next event is going to be... We're going to be doing the uh, Truck Nationals in Carlisle in August next week. Um, I do have something set up next week. I just can't remember what. Just a All right. Also have a live band. special treat when you go inside the building it's amazing inside there 
happy Father's Day to everyone too who's out there. I usually have my wonderful son with me, but he didn't come today. It likes to hear him talk. <laughs> Too. Where is that at? Behind me? I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's an actual World War II landing craft over there if you see it in the back. Where the door handles at? That's wild. Sounds like somebody's got a big motor. Yeah, like I said, they're still all coming in. We're a couple hundred cars so far, and they're still coming in. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Truck's pretty wild, huh? First gen Dodge. Some loves those. Got a really nice Monte Carlo coming in. Back row here. Look at this gold money. What state is this? This is Pennsylvania, my man. I'm in Morgantown. You have to take a trip here. You really do. They have car shows here almost every weekend. Pretty insane. It's amazing cars on the East Coast. And in the background, you see the classic Auto Mall. It was in a, an abandoned Auto Mall. And, um... The owner came and purchased it and uh, filled it with cars. Amazing, amazing cars. Look at this 66. Right? Click, like, share, follow, kids. Look at that. Huh? That's the first year they made the truck, right? Pretty cool car, man. Pretty cool. Love the wheels. I love the rear end on these things, too. definitely want to visit this place. If you love cars, you definitely want to come visit this place. <laughs> this is a car lover's dream come true here. Beautiful car. And you think what's outside is amazing. What do you see what's inside?
click like, like, and share. Gotta hit the like button. Gotta hit the like button. There you go, it's a Lamborghini, kids. How many see that, huh? What a variety of cars. This is a Pantera di Tomosa. Beautiful car. Click like, share, follow. Um, all my content's car related, so whenever I go to an event, I try to go live. Got the van kicking it. There's our recruiting spot over there against the wall. That one almost got me. That's sharp, huh? Gotta hit the like button. Get the viewers up. Look at that, Nova and Nova. Look at that. Huh? I said, ride, baby, ride. Ride, baby, ride. Yeah, ride, baby, ride. Now that's a guesser. Ride, baby, ride. Ride, baby, ride. You definitely, you definitely want to stick around for when I get inside this place. It's going to be an amazing treat for those of you who don't live in Pennsylvania and can't get here. Want to stay tuned to the video. I am going to go inside. I have jumped on this second row here. Click the like, share, follow. Click the like, share, follow. Get them likes up so we get more viewers. I believe that gentleman in the white shirt is the owner of this place. Like I said, it was an abandoned shopping mall in the middle, mid-90s, I think. And uh, he purchased it. And it's actually a consignment warehouse for classic cars. And Anybody out there got a Cadillac? No. Nope. Over there, that gentleman there in the gray shorts with the golf cart is Pastor Larry Weed. He has been hosting a show here every month. Once a month for 24 years. This 58 Impala, this thing's beautiful. He came in last time. Look at that, huh? That's a beautiful car. Click, like, share, follow. Click, like, share, and follow. Look at that, huh? That's before they made the big, look at that. Beautiful, man. That's, that's a machine right there. Like I said, they're still piling in. And this place can get upwards of 800 cars in a parking lot. Uh, show started at around nine. Yeah, they. Uh, this is a real special treat today. So, if you got friends in the car enthusiasts, you want to get them on here. Make sure you share it. Like I said, they're still piling in, and it's uh, ten forty. So, I might even do another show later if they get that many. So, we'll see what happens. Where? Morgantown, Pennsylvania, Classic Auto Mall. Come see us, get a free Bible, and check out the cars. Uh, I believe it's uh, exit 298 off of uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. Like I said, they're still piling in. Uh, oh, wow. 
there you go. There's one you won't see every day. $42,000. Ranchero. Look at that. That was before the El Camino, huh? Look at that. Huh? That is a rare car. Yeah, you won't find those. That's cool. All right, you're going to loop around one more row, and then we'll take you folks inside. So that's where the real treat's at. You think it's cool out here? What do you see inside this building? They even have a 1928 motor home, a Chevy motor home. They found it out in the woods, and it actually had clothes in it and furniture in it. Pretty cool stuff. Look at these guys just came in. The GTO just came in. I said, it's a nice day. So they're all going to be coming out. That old just came in. Click like share and follow. Look at the Viper, huh? You gotta get the likes up so we can get the uh, viewers in. All right, here's the last row and then I'm gonna head inside the building. The cars are the stars and the people are the purpose. Look at this Merc. Didn't just Sylvester Stallone have a Merc in that movie, Cobra? Look at that. That is one cool hot ride there, kids. I like this one's one of my favorites. The 35 Ford pickup. Did a really nice job with it. The wheels, shifter, really cool stuff. You guys are gonna love the inside of this place, so get your friends, share it, get your guy, wake everybody up, say hey. If you can't get here, you need to stay on this video and see the inside. This place will take your breath away. We got a wagon. Don't forget, click, like, share, follow. Let's get those likes up. Let's get those shares up. Let's get those follows up. The cars are the stars and the people are the purpose. That's why I do these shows. That's why I do this stuff for Riders for Christ, Races for Christ. Because you just never know when you're going to run somebody who's so broken, you know? People are so broken today. People are so hurt today, you know? They need something. So look at that interior. That is wild. Wow. I'm liking this one. SS427. That's the badge you want right there. Wow. That's what I think. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Toward that. All right. We're getting ready to head inside. So click, like, share, follow. Stay tuned. It's, it's probably 800 cars in a building. And it's going to take about 45 minutes to go through there. Keep in mind, he didn't take the stores out. He left the stores, but instead of having retail, the stores are actually full of cars. All different types, all different shapes, all different sizes, all different colors. You guys prepare to be blown away when I go into this building. I know you guys might have seen my Gateway videos. Take Gateway and multiply that by 50 and you got classic. Another thing cool about this is Pastor that runs this car show makes sure everybody gets a trophy. You see, there's hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. So, you can see. This is registration. But yeah, they, uh, alright, here we go. I'm gonna go inside. There's Chaplain Greg over there. Alright, here's the Greg. Here we go, we're going inside. This is what you're greeted with. It's a shopping mall. <laughs> it's a shopping mall full of cars. So I'm going to do a walkthrough. Click, like, share, follow. What I'm going to do... Absolutely. I can have everybody sign in. And there's a sign up over here.
All right, sorry about that, kids. See, the stores are still here. These are all stores in the shopping mall. But, see, both sides, if you look at the way it's set up, it's set up just like an old school shopping mall. You spy a cobra. You're going to spy a lot of things. The guy said this place is absolutely look. Boom. How often do you see that? Yeah, that's right. The Batmobile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to zigzag. This mall is actually shaped like a giant cross. It goes all the way down, and then it goes left and goes right. So that's going to take a little bit, but I'll get you through it. Enjoy the cars. I'll stop talking. And uh, this is definitely something to put on your bucket list. All right, let's go into store number one. Muscle car heaven. <laughs> Yes, it is. You got that right, Don. Got that right, brother. Don from Gateway. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yes, yes, it is a dream of course. Yes, it is. Uh, Morgantown, Pennsylvania. That would probably be the 1928... Um, motorhome. The variety here is incredible. Click, like, share, follow. Click, like, share, follow. All of my content is going to be car related, so you know what you're going to get. Oh, wow, look at this down here. What is this? This is incredible down here. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right. Well, what's your work, AJ? Tell me about it, buddy. What did you build? Look at that. Ford Tradesman. I love it. GTO. I'm going to head across the hall now, and we are going to, I missed some cars. I missed a whole row of cars, but I could be in here for weeks. There you go. This is from my buddy Mark. <laughs> He's uh, He likes the uh, Mercedes, and oh, look at that GTO. Spectacular, huh? Yeah, Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Classic auto mall, it's called. This is, if you're a car lover, this is something you want to put on your to-do list. You definitely want to do that. Look at that. You, now, when do you see those? When do you see one in that kind of condition? I mean, you can't find these. That's, this is just super rare. Love the, see how the, the walls... This was an actual retail store at one time. Yeah, if you're looking to sell or buy, Christ of Autumn Mall is the place you want to go. 427 Corvette, look at that. I had a loop back around. I don't want you guys to miss these. These cars are incredible. Look at that big blown Chevy. Wow. This is where they do their appraisals and estimates. Bring stuff in through the back. Cross the mall, go to the other side now. Click, like, share, follow. Well, I, I have to. Mean guy, have to. I can't do that. That's soliciting in a sense, so you have to be careful. Yeah, 
you can always check these cars out online if you wanted to. Look at that. Wow. Uh, we're going to cross over now. Click like, share, follow. Click like, share, and follow. Oh, there's a gasser for you. Missed that coming in. Yep, 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 yep. Sure does. Amazing cars. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to let you guys just enjoy the walkthrough. How you doing, sir? I think a lot of these older vehicles are found like this, and they don't touch them. They, they leave them unrestored to give it its... Look at that, huh? Man, oh man, talk about stepping back in time. Wow. The 1918 delivery truck. Incredible. Walking through here, I mean, if you're not from Pennsylvania and you can't get to Pennsylvania, then you need to get your friends on here because this is a once-in-a-lifetime walk through here. But I'll be back. I'm going to try to come up here once a month. This place is just so incredible. I could, I could see, I could see uh, the early Chicago gangsters running around in this. Look at, look at the room back there. Wow, that is wild. Amazing, huh? Click, like, share, follow. Old Ranchero, Street Rod. Click like, share, and follow. Get your friends. This place is big. A couple, 800, over 800 cars inside here. Not including the cars are still coming in outside. For those of you that are into the, there's an Apache over there, beautiful. But for those of you who are in the antiques, there's some really amazing stuff right in front of me. And a lot of these, they say they pull out of barns and they don't touch them. They leave them the way they found them because they don't want to, you know, ruin the, uh, Nostalgia, I guess you would call. But you could look at this, man. I could just see this sitting in Grandma's barn. Look at that, huh? That's just—I mean, you can just feel the spirit, man. I mean, this is this was the beginning. This was the start of it all. It's made out of wood. Look at that. The craftsmanship is just incredible. I'm not sure what year it is. It doesn't say. I'm not going to touch the hood either, but. Yeah, these these car these this is just the time machine right now. Where do you where do you see the 1925 Chevy RV? It's over there. I'm gonna take you. Um, when they found that, I believe they found it had clothing in it. It had a wallet in it. Pictures of the people who I guess originally owned it. Really, really. When you walk up to it and you look inside of it, it gives you an amazing feeling. Just to, you you could feel almost like the presence of the people that once were there. It's just so wild. Wow, look at this. I don't know what this was, but man, that wooden door. Look at that. That's like something out of a horror film. And that's the back of the delivery truck. So you sit here making deliveries, slide the wooden door. How many times has that wooden door been slid and open, huh? you imagine that? How many men sat in that seat and made deliveries and lived lives? Like, look at that. Look at that old body repair. Let's see if the tag says 1930 Pennsylvania, 1934 delivery truck. This would be right around Chicago. Bootlegging days. Who knows? It could be an old bootlegging car. Amazing, right? Incredible. Click, like, share, and follow. Click, like, share, follow. We need to click some likes so we can get the viewers in. Can't read it, but it reads Martin Binder. It's 1928 Chevy panel van. Panel truck. I said they find them like this. I don't know how they find them, but man, I would love that would be a really cool job to be able to track these things down and be able to save them. These these have been saved. You will never see and some of these you will never see again. A republic. Who's ever heard of that? 
These are some of these are one of a kind. The old crank, like the old Model A, to crank it up. I heard if you can get your hand out of the way in time, you broke your hand. This is a 1915 two ton Republic pickup, a truck. Incredible. Incredible. That looks like an old ambulance. That's kind of eerie. Wow. Eerie in a sense like who, you know, met their expiration date. I've said that before. Chevy Confederate half-ton van. 1932. Yeah. That's the old repair. They used to do the old repairs with lead. Back in the old days. Vacation land, Maine. <laughs> That's cool. Look at the old fabric still on the seats. And the old fan. No way. There's your air conditioning, kids. Old farm tractor. All right, here, we're going to go over here and check out the... Uh... Now, I'm going to be really, really silent so you guys get a feel of what... What it must have been like back in the day. But you'll never see another one of these again. So everybody pay attention real quick. There it is. This is one of the very first RVs ever made. It's a 1923 Chevy Weedman Motorhome. And it's one of the very first original slide outs. If anybody knows what a slide out is. There's a slide out. Now you can't see it because they've cornered it off but this was moved last time I was here and you could actually look inside I guess people were in there looking at the stuff but if you look over here to the left you see a an old suitcase and then right inside that window see the papers and there's paintings on the wall inside of there actually there's a mirror in the back there's beds in there you were able to go actually look in there and see and they found a wallet with people's pictures in there all right, I'm keeping quiet. Sorry to keep yapping. I just find this kind of stuff really exciting. All right, we're going to gonna head down to the next yeah. town. But he was already in here. Heading down to the next store. I think, you know, more than anything... I wish we could have a a wire that we could plug our phones or something into the back of these cars and just see the stories, see the memories, the high school graduations, the proms, you know, the race into the hospital to have a child or, you know, the, the weddings, you know, these cars represent people's lives. So it's not just an automobile. There's, there's, there's someone, someone was excited and someone couldn't wait to get to the dealership to buy it and bring it home and then you know it fed families they fed families there's just so many amazing things all right here we go I'm shutting up oh, I think that's a cord you won't see one of these again this is an extremely rare car here wow it's pretty beat up been through it but I think it's a cord I think, but I'm not sure. It appears to be, or it could be a knockoff cord, maybe. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Zippy. Cars are more than cars, man. People, we never really give people the opportunity, you know, the car, the opportunity of the, of the memories that we get to make with them, you know, the important, how important they are for, for that matter, you know. I mean, cars, in a sense, make the world go around. And to be able to, you know, save these automobiles and, and, and like I said, I wish we could, we could hear the stories. We could, we could, you know, you know, it's like, the, it's like, in a sense, like the way the Lord, the Lord knows us. He knows our lives and he knows our stories, you know. He's with us every step of the way, you know. Where did these cars come from? Who owned these cars? You know, what were they about? Were they good people? Were they bad people? Did they struggle? You know, I don't know. We got to look at the interior. Look at the old rumple seat, huh? Where am I at, Zippy? I am in Morgantown, Pennsylvania at the Classic Auto Mall. 
I said the story earlier, the classic auto mall was an abandoned mall. It was called Grandma's Mall or something like that. And um, the gentleman who owns it now was going down the road with his wife. He's traveled down the turnpike and he saw that it was empty and abandoned. He wanted to save the building, so he purchased it. And he left the stores. If you can see, look, but there are all the windows. This is an actual retail outlet. And what he did was, is he left it just the way it was, just like a shopping mall. But he filled all the stores with these amazing vehicles. A pretty interesting fellow. I believe him and all his sons, and that's what they do. They they go around and they purchase vehicles and they fill this place up. And the really really old ones, like you saw, they don't they don't restore. They leave them just the way they found them. Oh, you're in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, then you're getting a real treat, Zippy. You might. I mean, if you if you feel like traveling this far, come on down and check this place out. There's a hotel connected to it on the other side, but you're getting a real treat, man. Nice, 71 Charger and 70 Camaro. Beautiful. It's a convertible. Can you hear the laughter? Can you hear the excitement? Can you hear the roar of the engine and the wind blowing in your hair? Think of the people that sat in that seat and sat in these back seats and wherever they headed and, you know, the world was a, such a nicer place back then when these cars were built. Such a nice place back then, you know, a lot different than what it is today. It's very, definitely a very loveless world in which we live and it's sad. That's because this country's gotten really far away from God, that's why, so... Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's easy. You just go online, look it up, man. Classic Auto Mall. Yeah, you, this is a bucket list visit. You have to. You have to. You, you, you must. If you love cars, and like I said, they do two shows a month. I mean, tomorrow, today is the big Chariots of Fire show. I was here last month for that. And um, oh, we're going to cross the hall. We're going to go into the other section. Um, some beautiful, just amazing. Just if you look to my left. Look. Hundreds of yards, all four directions. And like I said, it's still set up like a mall. There's the front entrance. Look, this is where we came in at. I'm nowhere near finishing, so. My battery will probably burn up before I get finished, so. I'll tell you, just let you see as much as you can. I'm thinking about taking off in about an hour and a half anyway. So, heading home, it's Father's Day weekend. Happy Father's Day to everybody, by the way, out there in car world. Click, like, share, follow all of my content. 90% of the time is car related. And also, I share God's good word. Share the hope and love of Jesus with everybody. Because that's important. We need that in this world. We do. We really do. It's not as much in this room. There's a couple of gems hidden in the background, though. Yeah, 442, huh? Click, like, share, and follow. Here's a really cool car. It's one of those amphibia, amphibia cars. This will actually go into the water. This is a rare one. It's called an amphibia car. I believe the... Pretty awesome. Nice Corvette. Over here in the corner. Keep those click likes and shares. The more likes and shares, the more it, it, it increases the... Uh, the traffic. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rolls Royce for Father's Day? You guys are all right. I had to get back here. Look at this 48 Ford. She's beautiful. I love the color. Yeah, this is a redo. Definitely. No doubt about that. What is that? 
This is a 19, 1890 Dahmer four-wheel automobile replica. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, right? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Zippy? Look at this. A prowler with a trailer. <laughs> that's wild. Look at that. Tell me that's not a custom. That's a custom setup. No doubt. And you know, here's, here's something else I didn't tell you folks. It's, it's free. To come, to come in here, it's free. How you doing, sir? Good. How about you? Oh, I'm living the dream, my man. That's good to hear. That's it. That's it. One day at a time. It's a. Um... And here comes the. They call, I believe, this up here is called the courtyard. Yeah, the. It's not much in there. It's a really nice old Ford there in the window, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, this is, I believe, oh, wow, look at the wood ornaments. This is, I guess, the motorcycle section. And they obviously, I guess they probably don't want folks walking around in here knocking stuff over, so you can't blame them. But, yeah, look at that. Huh. Go on. But yeah, this is the. Uh, oh, wait a minute! You gotta see this. I almost missed this. Show the Z28. Uh, the well, okay, the white one. I got you. One second. I'll go back and check it out. But look at this. Look at that. That's a Nash. Look at that. Huh? Wow. That's amazing. Click like, share, follow. Click like, share, and follow. We're almost to the core. Oh. Now that's the real deal. Look at that. That is cool. Now that's a hot rod. That is a real deal. 50s hot rod, no doubt. The wheels. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous. Whoa. That's amazing. That's an amazing machine. Okay, Z28, you want the white Z? I'll take you back to the white Z. And back that way is the courtyard, so I don't know for and it's actually uh Wright Brothers plane. I can't believe that I just opened the hood on that car. I wouldn't touch these cars. You'll take the Z, huh? <laughs> the white one. Nice, right? Beautiful. Well, go online if you want the car, go online. Power windows. Stick shift, uh, four speed. Beautiful inside. Black interior, that's sharp. Black on white. That's nice. Good choice. Good choice on the Z. Yeah, me, I'm feeling it too, big guy. 120 on the freeway. I don't know if 120 on the freeway is a good idea. All right, this is the courtyard down here. This is like the center of the mall. Classic auto mall, and it goes in four directions. So what I just walked through was only one. There's four of these. So it just gives you an idea of just how massive this place is. Now, if you, uh, this is, that was the north section. The south is down there, and east and west are left and right. But over here, you see the food court? <laughs> if you look to the left, the Holiday Inn is down there. See the Holiday Inn? The hotel is actually connected to the Classic Automobile. So if you come to visit, stay at the Holiday Inn, and you can go right from your hotel into here. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? But yeah, if you look, we're gonna do it. Ready? Here we go, we do a pan around. Pan around. North, west, east, and south. That's how this mall's set up. Hey, where's my Z28 fan at? I got a Yanko Camaro, which you take a look at. Just spotted. Now that's a Z28.
Amazing. And slow. That's what I'll do. You guys can see everything instead of going one quarter time because I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day. Which I don't mind, but I did do got to get back outside and check on Chaplain Greg and yeah, but you got to you. I can't do justice on this place. I mean, incredible. <laughs> and it's indoors. So if it rains, it doesn't matter. It can rain till the cows come home. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Look at the paint. is this beautiful machine unreal oh look at that that's wild click like share follow click like share follow all of my content is car related and I also share the hope and love of Jesus with those out there I don't beat people up just throw some words out there for you folks to read and let God work on your heart we need it. We need it now more than ever. Oh, who likes Woody's? We just spotted one. Look at that. What is that? Is that an Olds? <laughs> I don't even know what this thing is. Yeah, it's an Olds. Cutlass, huh? That's nice paint, man. Look at that. Here's a Woody. Yeah. yeah, look down there. Look down there. As far as the eye can see, look, stores, both sides, all full of cars. Uh. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. He's got all kinds of stuff, man. Look at this. I guess he, he collects old pianos. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't see this last night. Look at that. Don't worry, they're on guard. You know, it's funny that all this stuff is cool and amazing. I do need to do, do need to remind some folks though that unfortunately someday the expiration date's going to come. Look at this. <laughs> it's one of those old toys you used to see in front of the supermarket. Go to their website, ClassicCars.com, I believe. Classic Car Auto Mall. Go to their website and check out their stuff. Look at that. That's a Cadillac. That's a 1939 Cadillac. You see the Godfather riding down the street in these things, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is so... So... Oh, look at this thing. What is this? Look in here. Look, look, look. I'm not even going to go in there. I go in there, I get stuck. I just love it too much. What is this? This was owned by Hugh Hefner and Steve McQueen. It's a 1970s. Oh, wow. Look at this. Huh? What in Christmas trees? The seatbelts, man, they're pretty bad. Those gauges in the back. Excuse me. Ford midget race cars. Battery's getting pretty low to the ground, so I am going to be pulling the plug on you kids. Click like, share, follow, stay tuned uh, for all my content car related. I mean, amazing cars, amazing vehicles, amazing people. Here we go. I'm, take, I'm taking this home. Look at that, huh? How low can you go? Look at that. Imagine pulling into the local car show in that setup. But uh, yeah, put this on your list. Look, a recliner store, leather store. I mean, I, I, I my, my phone wouldn't even last that long, to be honest with you. It is screaming, but look. 
I mean, just, just, it's too much. And then there's a couple hundred outside as well, so. I am heading back outside. I didn't even go left. I didn't go east and west, so. Click like, share, follow, stay tuned. I have all kinds of shows planned this year. Me and my son are going to be the Truck Nationals in Carlisle, so. Always amazing, cool car content. Um, you're always going to get a positive word. Um, we also need volunteers, so. You message me, hit me up. Um, and I'll get you lined up, and you can be doing all these amazing things as well. But uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, that rod, rod was the best. You ain't kidding. But uh, I might come back on, but it might be it for me for the day. So, But I will be coming back here. So, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got one more special treat for you guys. Let's see if I get to this. This is, this is, this is a real deal hot rod. This is amazing. See it in the back? Oh, man. Oh man, you know, oh wait, we were in there, <laughs> see, look at that, look at that, wow, all right, yeah, I just got the uh, low battery, low battery warning, so, there's the west side, there's the east side where the hotel is at, I came in on the north, just like a shopping mall, look at it. Look at that. Look at that 64 Pontiac GTO, all yellow. Look at that, look at that, look at that. 